<laughs> Welcome back to Blackjack, with my co-host Athena. And you may notice I sound a little different. Um, after a week in an area that you know, where I only saw one cat the entire time, I mean, obviously there are several more cats in Maui, but I only saw one, and it was outside. And then coming here, where my mom's four cats and my sister's cat are running around the house with abandon, plus dog, two dogs, I don't feel so good. Uh, so, I'm a little stuffed up. I'm also alone in the house, except for, you know, all the animals. So I have to keep an eye on the budget cage, make sure my sister's cat doesn't go too near near it. Also, I had loaded this up, got past the 23andMe ad at the beginning. I wonder if Boomstick really is, or, you know, his actor really is a little lactose intolerant, like he says in the ad. <laughs> I, um, I went to get some tea and to grab Athena, and I came back and my computer was restarting. I don't know what happened. If it restarts, it restarts. I'm just letting you know that is an entirely big possibility. And if you see that this that this uh, that this video is in multiple parts, you'll know why. You'll just know that it happens at some point. Anyway, Mario vs. Sonic. That's uh, one of their first. Okay, so they redid. Um, Samus versus Boba Fett. They had Goku versus Superman twice. And now they're redoing this with uh, completely new graphics. And my mother is texting me to ask how I feel. Stuffed up. And I'm going to have to tell my sister I'm recording. Recording now. My dad is in school, so he will not be back to possibly interrupt this. What do you think, Athena? I missed you so much. Yeah, I missed my lovely fluffy baby. By the way, I have a nice Hawaiian shirt here. The Huma Huma Nuku Nuku Wapua'a is the state fish of Hawaii. I think everyone just knows it because of its name. <laughs> I want this thing added to Animal Crossing. I think that would be hilarious. Uh, the, uh, the what now? The Humu. All right. Let us begin. Their 100th battle. I love it, right? I've done sound checks, so I hope this works. Their rivalry is legendary. Their fame, unmatched. This battle has gone on for nearly three decades, but today it's Pac finally Man comes actually the world's most recognizable Mario, Nintendo's whimsical Italian turtle crusher, and Sonic the Hedgehog, Sega's specialist of speed. Time to find out if Sega really does Hi, what Nintendo don't. For this bout, oh, we'll no. be using the same rules Death Bell has had for the past three years. Most importantly, oh my God, stupid. Okay, that's going to happen. I still don't know what's causing that. The original video games will be our primary source for analysis. Ah! He's whiz and I'm boomstick. I live action and it's movie. our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. There is one thing from that movie that I consider to most likely be true across all canons, but it's still only by inference just because of who his actor was. Luigi looks damn good in the dress. You watch it? He's played by John Lake Samo, who is also in uh, Tuang Fu. <laughs> Plumber, carpenter, doctor, Mario has worn many hats throughout his life, Literally. but he always does so as a hero. Except for that time he tortured an animal, but no one really talks about that. Yeah. Born as one of the seven star children possessing an extraordinary I amount of power. I can't even pause it now. Extra horrible crying what the, fits. Why can't Mario I pause it? Assuredly destined for greatness. What? Then him and his what? little I won't even. Okay, there. <laughs> 
affairs in six, 362 games. He's 24, and yes, that is official. I don't know how, especially because Donkey Kong has aged into Cranky Kong by this point. <laughs> Carpenter, plumber, doctor, umpire, chef, brewer, soldier, pilot, submarine captain, animal trainer, NBA player, baseball player, stunt biker, artist, toy maker, theme park owner, referee, and rapper. That's just what he's qualified for, huh? Though, overall, his main job is adventurer. Let's, let's face it. Soldier, though, it's very odd that they Luigi remember that. Luigi wound up in New Donk City, where Places he spent like his young, days throwing shit at monkeys and, uh, fixing toilets. Not exactly the great heroic destiny I was expecting, but hey, at least his girlfriend was smoking. But everything <laughs> changed after a chance meeting with Princess Peach Toadstool. Her mushroom kingdom had been conquered by Bowser, the tyrannical king of the Koopas. And... Mario's full name is Mario Mario, however this conflicts with a 2012 interview in which he claimed Mario had no surname. See, the, the thing is, because Mario Mario comes from the live-action movie, but I swear he had a surname before that that was just something completely different. Her I only hope of rescue about. lay in the hands of the Mario Brothers. And Mario had all the power he needed to take the turtle terror down. He's super tough, super quick, and Happy. really, really strong. He can jump several times his own height, smash tanks to bits Kathy with his butt, a and toss being. Bowser around as if he's a featherweight. So long, gay Bowser. Needless to say, the Mushroom <laughs> Kingdom was in good hands. So was the princess. She even gave Mario a piece of her cake. Yeah, <laughs> if you know what I'm saying. Get in there, buddy. You deserve it all. The oh, come on. It's an actual cake. That's good, too, I guess. <laughs> and if his strength doesn't cut it, Mario has plenty of extra weapons and powers on hand. 36 power-ups on his person. Interesting. So he doesn't actually have to go find them all the time. That's good. He shattered brick with his bare fists, but when he needs the power to break down the toughest walls, he busts out the Ultra Hammer. Sounds like a wrestling move Lou Albano would have used back in the day. Rest in peace, Kevin. Forged by two master blacksmiths, the Ultra Hammer, combined with Mario's mighty swing, can break through practically any... Okay, now, my memories of the live-action show are a little wonky. Um... Did they ever involve Cindy Lauper? Because she was in Heavy with Lou Albano. He played her dad in the Girls Just Wanna Have Fun video. I think she was his Seriously. manager a few and times. And he's got a ton of awesome power-ups, like that spicy fire flower. Actually, while Mario used to need this flower, he has since learned how to use pyrokinesis without it. Well, the ice nice. flower lets him freeze enemies, the that. lucky bell turns him into a kitty cat, and the super mushroom gives him a power boost and increases his size. <laughs> Yeah, I bet the princess likes that one. With his frog suit, his swimming ability increases dramatically. With the double cherry, he can create clones of himself with no power decrease. With the stopwatch, he can freeze time. With the cape feather or the wing cap, he can soar to new heights. And with the star man or rainbow star, he becomes totally invincible. For a short time. And with What's the gold flower, time? he never has to work another day in his life. Cause he's got an infinite supply of money made of people. While he can carry several power-ups at once, <laughs> Mario doesn't always need them to prove his potential. He's quick <laughs> enough to maneuver when transformed into a bolt of lightning, and skilled enough to pilot the Star Diver as it rockets through the atmosphere. He's so friggin' manly, he took an explosion to the face that wrecked an entire castle. And even better- Once again, every time something like that point, is pointed out, I'm going to say, Giovanni did it. I don't know why, I just like pointing that out. He was standing in the middle of this. Based on a standard tennis court's measurements, we can determine the blast of this fireball covered a radius of over 2,000 feet. Nice. To reach this distance, the blast must have had an explosive yield of over 2.4 megatons. So what you're saying is Mario could totally play tennis with a nuclear warhead for a ball and be totally fine. Hang on. Paper Mario has different physics, though. Being roughly two-dimensional, I mean, I guess he has a little bit of note. Uh, just, uh, just a moment. Okay, hi, back, so I had to take her outside. Yeah. <laughs> she wouldn't go until I put her on the back of the lawn chair. Anyway, so, uh, Paper Mario has much different physics involved here. I mean... We could 
probably foresee that Mario could survive something like that, but Paper Mario, you know, he could fold himself up and all kinds of stuff. Probably. Also, he can throw a baseball so fast it overloaded this speed gun, implying it was launched over 999 miles per hour in the Mario world. Oh, but it didn't just over... It, it wasn't just thrown really fast. It was so fast that it overloaded it. That is different. Otherwise, it would just scroll back around to zero. In the cartoon, he hurled a dinosaur out of orbit. Assuming this creature is of similar size and weight to a Tyrannosaurus Rex, this feat would require a force of over 135 <laughs> dinosaur, tons of TNT. Wait, Wiz, I thought you said we're only using the games. Any official material counts so long as it's supported by the games, otherwise we'd be ignoring a huge majority of the character's history. Take a look at this chain chunk. It's actually made up of solid gold. Gold is ridiculously it heavy. Wasn't. While one cubic foot of iron weighs 491 pounds, a cubic foot of gold is over 1,200 pounds. Luckily, a chain chomp is a perfect sphere, so we can compare it to Mario's height to find that it weighs nearly 6,000 tons. Nice! Wait, just leave it in that hole? And then the chain. It in, Mario! That thing's worth $366 billion! That's actually correct. Well, yeah, that guy on TV Wait, who always wants my gold and gold. Chain. This isn't even Mario's most impressive feat. At one point, he lifted an entire fortress and punted it through the air. He does the same thing in the manga, and it's pretty on par with... <laughs> Defeated Bowser. Yeah, well, it's not hard. Defeating Smithy, on the other hand, that that's a feat. He's shown against Bowser, who's survived collapsing castles multiple times. Since this presentation makes the castle's size difficult to determine, we measured the entire interior based on maps from the game. By scaling these measurements to the castle's smaller avatar, and conservatively assuming a limestone composition, we've determined the castle must weigh more than 61 million tons. Whoa! They just it away like it was a freaking soccer ball! Given the distance it was kicked, Mario must have exerted a force of around three and a half megatons of TNT. Do you realize what this means? Mario's foot is 231 times more powerful than the atomic bomb that dropped on Hiroshima. Now seems like a good time for a beer. Or 12. Honestly, Mario's absurd strength shouldn't be as surprising as you... Hmm. In what way does he compare, though? How, um, where are you pulling the uh, comparisons from? I mean, is it because they're both star children or whatever? How the heck is Wario a chosen child? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Uh, especially, like, according to his backstory, at least in the comics, he um, was basically just some guy that Mario used to be mean to as a kid. <laughs> that Mario thought he was the best of friends. <laughs> Because Mario is kind of a While dick. While he's fairly naive and not much of a strategist, he's saved the Mushroom Kingdom from Bowser's clawed grip time and time again. And the Koopa King is tough enough to survive a dip in the sun, or even a black hole. Don't underestimate Nintendo's powerful plumber. I love that they take joke feats and count them as legit. Somewhere out there, on a strange alternate version of Earth, Humans coexist with anthropomorphic animals. But this world has been assailed over and over by the vile Dr. Ivo Robotnik, otherwise known as Eggman. Why the heck does he need such a dumb alias when he's already got a name as cool sounding as Robotnik? But hope persists. <laughs> that is Whenever true. the Eggman hatched a scheme, one did not have <laughs> a Ivo a certain blue streak to speed by. This was Sonic the Hedgehog. Ooh. He is the fastest thing alive! He's the While Thank Sonic you. has a superhuman physique overall, speed Christmas is Christmas Island. He still likes chili dogs, huh? In fact, nice. superhuman speed is a natural trait for the anthropomorphic hedgehog, though Sonic's abilities are far superior to his kin. Wait a yeah, minute, no all kidding. hedgehogs have super speed? No. Nope. That doesn't make any sense. No. Nope. Well, real hedgehogs are also nocturnal, not blue, and when they try to make friends with foxes, they get eaten. 
so I don't think Sega cares. All right, then. You've heard to stop Eggman from turning all his animal pals into batteries, Sonic cranked oh, up that speed bloody. and weaponized it. He can crush his enemies with the spin attack, strike multiple times Self with the home attack, art. go zero to Sonic Boom uh -oh, instantly with the super peel out, oh. and plow through hordes of bad nicks okay, with the so spin dash. That. Holy crap! This yeah. guy just like vomit all the time. He's also used a number of power ups throughout his adventures, including right. elemental shields. The aqua shield is especially useful as it grants him. Okay. Um, instead of commenting every time the video goes out, I'm just going to proceed as normal so that I can continue watching this, and you'll just understand that the video will come back. Okay? I bouncing jump and protection against his greatest nemesis. Water. What, Nick? No. Water. Seriously, Sonic, buddy, learn to swim already and save our ears from that nightmare music. The blue hedgehog can also Tails, get you can help. from small alien beings called wisps. They okay. can turn him into a fireball, a yellow drill, so a that's black hole, a using bunch Kathy. of stuff, really. Even a demonic hungry Who hungry hippo. Dress, by the but way? But before we delve any further, there is something vital which we need to discuss. It's time to figure out Sonic's speed. Oh boy, here we go. While he has boasted that he is faster than light, Sonic has yet to prove this in canon without the aid of additional equipment or power-ups. Oh yeah, like when he connects to a trail of rings. But you can't take his bragging too seriously. He's still got some of that radical 90s attitude. I'm out of here. The highest official description of Sonic Speed labels him as hypersonic, or somewhere between Mach 5 and Mach 10. This actually isn't too far-fetched. The game Sonic Unleashed records his speed, and he can reach a maximum around 3,500, uh, SPD. Sonic, he's got an STD. Sonic, it burns when he pees. Assuming SPD translates to metric meters, given the game's Japanese. He just got the microphone out just for that. Also, I noticed, uh, Wiz's shirt is a Rolling Stone gathering no loss. <laughs> I assume that's what it's supposed to be. Um... I wonder if they're going to address the fact that Eggman has, in fact, run faster than Sonic at certain points. ...needs development. That puts Sonic's top speed over 7,872 miles. Uh-oh. Uh, sorry. I opened something that came up. Miles per oh. hour. Over ten times the speed of sound, and just over the official hypersonic description. So, is that it? Well, it's possible, just, no, likely, work. that he's okay. faster. In TV shows closely tied to the games, Sonic has dodged meteors, did this with a 10,000 frame per second camera, and even outran lightning, all of which implies that he can move and react around 200 to 300 times the speed of sound. How you about know, that one time he cut man, up man, You know what that makes me think of? You play Breath of the Wild? To a cyan wisp, he said that thing's almost as fast as him, even without its laser mode. That's right. The it laser is a power it grants Sonic, not itself. Still, wisps are incredibly fast. At one point, a group of them flew from Earth's surface to a black hole in orbit in the 20 seconds Sonic and Tails were talking. By measuring the planet's curve here, we can find that the wisp aliens must have been moving around Mach 200. As Sonic is faster than them, this supports his cartoon feats. Why isn't that black hole sucking up the Earth? That's what they do, right? It's more like a pseudo-black hole fueled by hyper go -on energy. Yeah! I didn't know better. I'd swear he just made those words up. Its presence near Sonic does emulate that of a singularity, and Sonic <laughs> but actually outran better. its pull for 30 seconds. Due to chaotic accretion, black holes pull non-orbiting mass inward at 30% the speed of light. Sonic's clearly pushing his running speed to its limit here, or else the black hole wouldn't have pulled him in. With this in mind, it's entirely possible that, without additional support, Sonic's maximum possible running speed must be around 200 million miles per hour. That's insane! The fastest man-made object in real life was the New Horizon space probe, which... Hmm. Loosely via outsourced publication. It is unsupported in canons like Superstitious Light Speed Dash. All official sources directly from Sega... Took off at more than 36,000 miles per hour. It took nine years for this probe to reach Pluto, but with sonic speed, he could make this same trip to Pluto in less than 24 hours. <laughs> While we're tracking speed, I've always wondered how fast I can chug a beer. Start the clock, Wiz! Uh, are you gonna start? I'm already done. 
<sighs> Moving on, even with this unbelievable speed, Sonic has far more power hidden up his sleeve. He doesn't wear a shirt. He can achieve the form of Super Sonic by absorbing an enormous amount of positive energy from the seven legendary Chaos Emeralds. In this mode, he can teleport large objects, survive planet-level explosions, launch energy attacks, and fly near the speed of light. But guess what? This isn't even his final form. Uh, After the emeralds received a boost from the master emerald, he's Sonic gotta have a his ultimate there, state okay. of being, hypersonic. He's got all the abilities of supersonic, plus total invincibility, and a hyper flash that insta kills everything around him. Oh, and is really he's uncomfortable a lot. Light now. Unfortunately, good things don't last forever. Without a steady supply of rings, these super forms can't even stick around for a full minute. Sonic has resisted mind control from the Overmind, survived re-entry from orbit, and blasted apart a mountain. This would need more than 200 tons of TNT to pull off. Dark Gaia? They need to re-release Illusion of Gaia, just as a side note. Teleported a 15 mile wide. Is that a spaceship? Outran a black hole for 30 seconds. Isn't there a theory that like little black holes are popping up around us all the time and they dissipate real super quick? Emerald, you <laughs> defeated Emerald Lagasse? Were you in a chili cook off? Okay. And while fighting his evil Robo Coffee Metal Sonic, they shattered this enormous stalactite. Holy shit, just look at the size of it! Look at the size of that, Tina. buildings in this city and applying the density of granite, the most common rock in continental crust, we found that this stalactite must weigh almost 47 million tons. Nice. Which means a break like this would need a force of almost 200 kilotons of TNT. Damn, he's definitely got what it takes to save the world from a madman scientist, even if he is kind of a dick. Well, Sonic may be a bit arrogant, and he's certainly a thrill seeker, hot but at his best, he's the definition of honest and heroic. He's used his powers to defeat Eggman time and time again, even against gigantic death machines and cataclysmic events. Those cute and cuddly forest critters can rest easy when Sonic's gotta go fast. I'll show you how outclassed you really are. I'm in a class all my own. Time to put up or shut up, infinite. Nice, nice. All right, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. Again. Okay, so that feat there was... Hang on. Like this would need a force of almost 200 kilotons of TNT. Damn! Okay, 200 kilotons. And back here was... Man. Um... Stop giving me the little thumbnails now. Always once my gold told me. This isn't even Mario's most impressive feat. At one point, he lifted an entire fortress and punted it through the air. He does the same thing okay, in the manga, right. and it's pretty on par with the strength castle. he's shown against Bowser, who survived collapsing castles multiple times. Since this presentation makes the castle's size difficult to determine, we measured the entire interior based on maps hey, from the game. <laughs> By scaling these That's measurements so to the castle's smaller avatar and conservatively assuming a limestone composition, we've determined the castle must weigh more than 61 million tons. All right. Okay, so back through Sonic again. 200 million miles an hour. Superforms. And I'm just going to go skip right through the ad. Freaking Don't need you. I already get imperfect produce. Okay. Um, well. Honestly, my money's on Mario. Um, he's stronger. Um. I think he's more durable. Um, Sonic is faster, though. I'll give him that. Um, they did not get into Cappy's powers. They mentioned Cappy in the sidebar. I wonder if that means so that Mario's just going to be able to get a wisp. Or, 
is he going to try to control Sonic, and Sonic's going to resist it like he did with that mega ultra mind thingy. Overmind, whatever it was called. That that could be interesting. Um, but overall, I think Mario's going to win. What do you think, Nina? <laughs> hmm? Hello, that's a mine. Finders keepers, pal. <laughs> you asked for it, Tubby. <laughs> really? Yeah, much faster. You're too slow. <laughs> <laughs> How exactly is that? Is Come here. <laughs> Bold. <laughs> Kitty cat power. Double cherries. Oh, give me a break. <laughs> Don't I just do one copy? <laughs> Already. Now I'll show you. <laughs> no, you're leaving blood stains. <laughs> so those are going to cancel each other out. Nate's a dog. There's a bird out there. Oh, yeah. So those are going to wear out at roughly the same time. <laughs> They're just next to that. Oh shoot. Oh, mamma mia. Both of them survived re-entry. Sorry, I was keeping this hat on the whole time. Well, that's what finished him off last time. <laughs> I'm the winner. Already. Kyo! Whoa! How did that happen? I know Nintendo won the console wars, but. I really seem to remember Sonic having this one in the bag. I'm sure Sonic could have won in specific circumstances, <laughs> but more times than not, Mario foot. takes the victory. Keep in mind this analysis was done with a focus on the games and their closely tied media, excluding alternate contrary sources like the RG Com. Oh, okay. Comics or the Mario Brothers movie, where Mario and Sonic are essentially entirely different characters from their gaming counterparts. Sonic had speed in the bag, obviously, but Mario was way too tough for him. Their top strength hey, paint this picture very, very clearly. But I know what you're thinking. What good is Mario's strength if- The second individual before the technique. Ah, oh, really? If he you didn't get into what the blue blur, did that. He's way too fast, right? Yes and no. While Mario obviously couldn't match Sonic's relativistic top-running speeds, he's moved efficiently as a bolt of electricity and piloted the Hi, Star Diver. Based on our calculations, this puts him at the same level as Sonic's own reactionary feats. Oh, really? Since Mario was tough enough to tank almost anything Sonic could throw at him, it was only a matter of time before he tagged the blue blur with a deadly blow. But what about chaos control? Couldn't Sonic just stop time and take care of things? What? It's heavily implied he knows how to, but Sonic has never actually used the time stop ability in canon. Even then, Mario's stopwatch does the same thing, putting them on equal footing. Uh, oh, don't do that! Where's my wallet? 
Actually, most of Mario and Sonic's power-ups countered each other in this way. Mario even had plenty of options for defending against Sonic's invincible super forms. But Mario also had a much wider variety of power-ups, offering multiple ways to overpower Sonic. For example, he could have frozen Sonic's skull, or even turned him into gold. His arsenal would always outlast Sonic's because he's been shown to carry more of them on his person. And be able to. Oh god, oh, I've seen things. But even then, Mario's durability hey. blew Sonic. Uh, scaling to Donkey Kong's Moon Punch. Okay. Yes, hi, yes, you see Aunt Heather over there with Libby. Okay, uh, so I'm almost done. Mario's durability. Again, what's the comparison there? Sonic's out of the water. Even if we assume the 200 kiloton stalactite feat was entirely Sonic's doing, Mario survived an explosion that was 12 times more powerful. Nice. Simply put, Sonic didn't have a lot of viable options that could take Mario down for good. I always knew Sonic was impressive, but Mario is just ridiculous. Probably that mustache. Sonic was obviously incredibly fast, but he couldn't they didn't get into Mario's superior strength, durability, and varied arsenal. He got mario after a hundred episodes, you still can't think of a good pun? No, but now they can see me do this! Ah, check it out, Wiz. The winner the is Marks. <laughs> Thank you for watching our 100th Death Battle episode, and props to Blind Ferret for that phenomenal battle animation. To yes, celebrate 100 episodes, we have a limited edition poster, which you can pick up by clicking that box right over there. Oh, okay, it's just, uh, I can't read the other one. Ultron versus Sigma. I know that's been a highly requested battle, but that is literally all I know about it. Uh, I don't even know who these people are. Is Ultron the one from Age of Ultron? I don't know. I know there's a bunch of characters named Ultron. Okay. And move. And make bigger. Okay, so that was kind of underwhelming, honestly, especially for a 100th episode, I guess, um, because it was all hand-animated, or, you know, computer-animated. It was all 100% original animation, is what I'm going to say. Um, then they wanted to make it tight, but there was a lot of feats they didn't get into. That, like, I wanted to see the whole Cappy versus... Sonic's willpower sort of thing. I think that would have been awesome, right, Bean? Yeah, a What? What, budgies? Jojo's nowhere near the cage. There are no cats anywhere near that cage, and they're still freaking out. Because they're budgies. They're scared of everything. But yeah, I just... Ugh, I did not expect it to be over so fast. I expected Sonic to, like... Because it was pretty close to the shore, while well, logic would dictate that even Sonic would be able to haul himself out of the water. So, unless there's, like, some, you know, 50-foot drop-off right there. Uh. <laughs> then he should have been able to come out of the water there. But, yeah, I mean, they must survive re-entry, right? So what, um... What exactly happened there? I know um, slamming into water at a speed like that is basically like slamming into pure concrete, but... <sighs> yeah? Yeah? Okay, so I have like negative thoughts on the next one, just like not bad thoughts, but like I have no thoughts, I have some thoughts, I have negative thoughts. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> I guess, you know, that would bring it down to some thoughts again, right? The only thoughts being, who? I just see those names pop up. Ultra vs. Sigma, please. No, Forever vs. Sigma. There's your daily, uh, your, uh, tri-weekly screen full of theater. You see that thing. So anyway, though, yeah, I'm just ultimately left kind of cold by this battle. I mean, it was exciting, and... The, uh, doesn't multi cherries, or the the twin cherries, or double cherries, or whatever it's called, only make one copy? 
Either way, I don't think it would have made that much of a difference because all they really did seem to do was slow Sonic down a little bit. They didn't seem to do that much damage to him. He was taking hits, but they didn't seem to be lasting effects. Yeah, you gonna go down? You gonna go down? So, um... Yeah, I think that's kind of a non-issue at this point, but... You know, it's kind of worth uh, thinking of. Um... Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, it's for a 100th episode especially. It just doesn't seem like they did a whole bunch. They presented all of these phenomenal, just super-powered feats for both of them, and then they just did... It's like they, they could have done so much more. Just, just from the analysis portion. And they didn't. And... Also, why were the Mario comics never released outside Japan? Save for the Kirby comics. And they're, they're still going on, too. Why do so many Pokemon comics not get released? I mean, like, why didn't we get Phantom Thief Pokemon 7? Why didn't we get Pokemon Rebirth? Which, from what I understand, sucks ass, but still, it's the principle of the thing. I can understand why we didn't get Pocket Monsters, the Scary Clefairy, um, because... You know, obviously. I think DPA was pushing it with, you know, man getting hit in the junk with Pokeball, or Haruto peeing on Mitsumi's bag, or whatever, but if not to mention the horrific dark themes they have in there, and the character literally tries to kill herself. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, that series is me with Lash. <laughs> but uh, it's really good, though. I'm in a cool adventure, and you should all read it. <laughs> butt jokes, butt jokes, uh, some, you know, the absolutely phenomenal storytelling and character moment, and then harder to farts on something, so, yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, it's kind of like, it's kind of like the Pokemon equivalent of Dragon Ball, it really is. I mean, you could even match up some of the characters. A little bit of Z because it means Cyrus is Vegeta. He even has the hair for it. <laughs> uh, yeah. What you doing? Hey! No! It kind of falls apart because Jin would be Krillin, but Koya would be Dragon Ball vs. Uh, Yamshin, where he was actually a threat. Uh, oh well, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I got off on a tangent talking about all this manga based on Nintendo properties. But anyway, though, yeah. They really, really need to release the Mario series. <clears throat> that manga even did a drawing of Lena. Do, do you know who Lena is? Do you know who Lena is? She's from the movie. She's played by Fiona Shaw, and she is amazing. She is flippin' amazing, okay? She's basically Bowsette before there was a Bowsette. And, you know, there was an official Bowsette. They released that there's supposed to be some sort of thing like that in, uh, in um, Odyssey. So, yeah, it's not just the whole, you know, Toadette gets the crown thing. <sighs> They also didn't touch on Mario RPG a whole lot. Uh, they, you know, they mentioned his feat against Smithy. Um, <laughs> what are you doing? And this is my new shirt. You wear golf balls in it. This is another educational life of parrots video, isn't it? No. This is also another life with autism video. It is going on and on and on and on and on. I swear that's why I get distracted so much. You know, that's just how oh, I'm demonstrating how my mind works. <laughs> I mean, you know, not giving a demonstration more of just this is what it's like. 
But yeah, um, I think I've said pretty much all I need to say. You know, release all these different manga series. There's no reason not to. Um, the, they gave us so many of these feats that they didn't get into, which was really disappointing. Um, I have a feeling there was more that was slated and was either animated and cut or was cut at the scripting stage. Uh, who knows? Okay, well, I will see you for Ultron vs. Sigma. And, uh, you know, here's the thing. Last time I asked you guys if I should do this in costume, nobody answered. So, no, you get Huma Huma Nuka Nuka Wapua instead.